still dark, kinda, but we're getting ready. Just really quickly go rowing for like 30 minutes before we start work. So that's what we're gonna get ready to go do. I am gonna eat breakfast though really, really fast. I'm gonna splash my face with some water. good morning and welcome back to a new vlog i'm just sitting down to do my makeup let's try to fix this so i'm not flashing you guys okay so i'm gonna test out some new makeup today i got like a ton of new makeup right here holy crap it's from westman atelier i randomly stumbled upon this brand on nordstrom's website and that just looked like right at my alley and something i wanted to test out it's all like cream products and natural like looking products and i kind of just wanted to try out like a new look and just try out some new products too to see if there's any that i like that i can introduce into just like my standard routine or if i can just adopt a new routine i don't know i, I was in the mood to like switch things up so we're just gonna test out like a full face of new makeup well of course i'm going to substitute using some of like my own stuff as well like some powders and stuff because i cannot like go the whole day without at least having a little bit of setting powder i'm an oily girl <laughs> let's walk you through the products that i did get and then we'll go more in detail obviously when i put it on the first one up is i did get a blush this is in the color petal i did open these all up and test them on my hand and they looked good to go i just haven't tested them out on my face obviously i also got the foundation stick in number one super loaded tinted highlight in Pew de rose 
Maybe that's what you call it. And then I got the highlight stick. I wasn't sure if I wanted like this highlight cream or like a stick. So I don't know. I got both to test out in Nectar. And then I got the contour stick in Biscuit. And then I also got a, it says it's a liquid lip balm, but it's kind of like a lip gloss in Nana. So I'm really excited for all this stuff. You guys, the packaging is like bougie AF. It's so good. It's all like really heavy duty metal and the top of it is magnetic. So it kind of just like sticks together. It's so freaking cool. And then some of them like the highlight came in like a fancy like leather bag. I don't even understand, but like these, this is heavy. Like it's like full on like metal. This is a luxury. I'm gonna take everything out of this packaging just so it's easier. And they also switched up the look for most of them. Like this is the foundation color. This is the blush color one. This is the contour one. This is the highlight stick. So it has like a silver top. <laughs> let's just throw it around why don't we anyway let's get started i'll stop talking about them so let's start out with the foundation i'm a very neutral color this one is coming off a little yellowish but i'm hoping it's fine we're just gonna kind of i guess go all over and then i'm gonna use a beauty blender i have a mirror right here let's go in with the brush a little bit help blend it out i think the most challenging part is going to be obviously covering my chin so i think that's a true testament let's see how this goes i was testing out some new skincare products and clearly those products do not work for my skin so now we're just in a healing phase i don't know i don't really feel like that covered anything Hmm, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of the foundation. I feel like sometimes you end up not liking a product initially when you put it on, but once your full face is done or once you wear it throughout the day, like once it has a couple hours of wear time, sometimes you might end up liking it more. And sometimes it's the complete opposite, you know? Like you love how it goes on, but when it wears, it looks like crap. Okay, we'll start with that because I don't want to overdo it. And then we're going to go in with the contour stick in Biscuits. First impression, completely smooth to just like put on my skin. It doesn't pull my skin at all. Let's see about the blendability. Wow, I feel like that gives like a really natural glow. It doesn't look like overly done by any means. I'm gonna put a little bit more on this section because this is the section that my skin is a little bit lighter because of my melasma. So I typically like to put more in this section to kind of like even it out. That gives a really nice natural glow. I really like the contour stick. That's nice. It's like very subtle. I'm gonna put on some concealer. They didn't have concealer or I didn't buy it. One of the two, I don't have it. So we're just gonna go in with like my normal concealer combo. I use the Dior Forever Skin Correct and then I also go in with the MAC Pro Longwear two of like my rider dies for some reason i just really like to combine them we're going on my forehead and on my nose as well and then my chin for some reason let me know if your skin is like this is very particular and doesn't typically like concealer on it which sucks that i'm breaking out on my chin and i have to cover it up i don't know why the skin on my chin is so different that it hates it but it does next is blush so again this is in the color petal or the shade petal i usually never do a cream blush so i'm really excited for this Cross my fingers this works out i put that much on let's see if it blends out i think it blends out okay i'm trying to just dab versus smear because i obviously don't want any of the other makeup underneath it to move around delicate act i like that color though i feel like that looks really good and it's super hard for me to find like good blush colors i like this one now let's move on to 
the highlights. Where's my highlight? Oh, it's right in front of my face. Great. So we're gonna try two different ones. This one, which is called Pew de Rose. Pew de Rose. It's French. I don't have a French accent, obviously. So it's this color, really pretty. You can see I did a little bit of a swatch. And then also this is the highlight stick that's like a little bit lighter. That could be really pretty too. So let's see how like the textures of these two kind of like differ from one another. This one is like kind of cream-ish. So I'm just gonna like use my finger, put it on my face. This is what it looks like. It's pretty. Let's see the high points of my cheekbones. It's very subtle, which is good, which we like. because It's gonna blend in quite nice to the whole combo. Doesn't have like a lot of shimmer to it like it did on my finger, but kind of it's just like a glow That's nice. And then let's just add this on top because uh, why not? We'll just apply this directly To my skin Nice Not bad you guys like at all Okay, I'm gonna continue with my eyebrows and my mascara i think and then i will come back you guys have seen me do my eyebrows and my mascara like a ton of times so i'm not going to change anything here i'm going to use my brow wiz and then my clear brow gel both from anastasia i'm going to under like go under my brows once i add in my brow to like carve it out using the nars radiant concealer and then i'm going to use this lancome mascara as well i think that's it that i'm gonna do with my eyes i'll probably end up brushing a little bit of bronzer like underneath my eyes a little bit using the bobby brown bronzing powder in shade number one. Oh, before i do that i guess i'm gonna set my face since i'm done with all the cream products i'm gonna go in with a little bit of light powder using this one in number one pretty fair Okay, I have my eyes and my eyebrows on now. So I think we're just gonna finish up by doing the lips. I think that's it, that remains. Wipe off the chapstick I had on. I'm just gonna go in with my MAC Whirl. You guys see how tiny this is? I like use like every last little bit. And then our lip gloss, really pretty actually. It's kind of like a muted rose color, it's more cool tone. Mm. oh you guys i like this it's not sticky at all it feels super nice on the lips okay well i think that's pretty much it let's just set our face now and i always like to use a fan setting the face is like a necessity it completely transforms your makeup look it just like makes it all melt into one well that is the finished look i just need to go like do my hair and obviously get dressed but what do you guys think i actually think i really like it let's see how it wears throughout the day obviously it's hard for me to tell huh, with my situation on my chin but i feel like it covered it up quite well however like it looks like a little bit cakey but it's okay but i do like like this part of my face i feel like that looks really nice Again, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the foundation. I might like swap that out and use my own foundation or just go foundationless like I typically do and just like spot conceal. But I really like the bronzer and the blush and the highlight. I feel like that's like my favorite things out of like this. Oh, and the gloss. The gloss is really nice too. There, fully ready. Where's the sun? <laughs> Get some light. I feel like this looks pretty good. No? Hmm? Hmm? I'm procrastinating work a little bit this morning, so let's continue to procrastinate and let's actually do a shoe haul. I have tons of new shoes as of late and I'm so excited for each and every single one of them, so I wanna share them with you. <laughs> well, hopefully the lighting isn't too terrible. It's like that awkward time that the sun is like moving, so the room is kind of dark, but it's bright at the same time, I don't know. Okay, so many shoes, you guys, you guys. I'm so excited. So I have three pairs of sandals, a pair of booties, and then some Air Jordans too. Let's just get it kicked off with showing you the Air Jordans, no? These bad boys were released. They kind of come off a little bit blue, but they say that they're gray. So I think it's like a gray blue, and you can see that this part right here is a lot darker than this part right here. Let's see what the box says. Coconut milk, light, light de coco. That was French. I can't speak French. <laughs> Anyways, they came out with this in pretty much 
every single size they came out with it in men's big kids and little kids and my size was only available in the little kids because men's doesn't go down far enough to a women's size five so i got these in a kid size which is you guys know i love to get kid size shoes when i can because it saves you so much freaking money like 50 bucks off easily but anyways i really really like this pair it's kind of different from all of my other air jordans obviously the colorway it's just oh my god it's gorgeous but it's kind of like a canvas material and it's just like a natural canvas color is what i would kind of classify it as and then this part is suede and then the gum bottom is really cool too i've been wearing these so they are a little dirty so anyways yeah i've got some mid top air jordan ones and a little kid size three size three is perfect size for me and kids and again i am a women's size five so yeah, love these bad boys. And then as far as booties go, I have been eyeing these bad boys. They have been on my wish list and they just went on sale. So I was like, okay, perfect time to snatch them up. It's from the brand Shoot, which is the shoe brand that I really like. But yeah, you could say I have a lot of just like black booties, but I didn't have any with like a skinny heel like this one. All the other ones I have is like a little bit chunkier. So I kind of justified getting these the top of them are like so stretchy they're so easy to get on and off they're really comfortable to walk in i've already been wearing these as well i got these in a size five and it's a really good size for me and the back of these is like really cute if you can see it has like a leather little section going down and then yeah the heel is kind of like a triangle it's really cool i really like these and for some reason it's always been really hard to find soft booties so i'm always really excited when i find good pairs and as far as sandals go this is another pair that was actually on sale and so i couldn't pass them up because i've been eyeing them for a while it is the apl leather quilted looking slides this is gonna be just like a go-to of mine for the summertime i've been really wanting to get all new sandals for this summer so i've been having my eye out trying to get some new pairs obviously reviews on these were pretty mixed of like this part like wearing down and like all that sort of stuff that's why i kind of opted to go for the black pair and with apl sizing you guys may remember if you guys are ogs i got apl slides like last summer and i was very in between a size five and a size six size five is my normal size but for these they run like a little small so i literally was contemplating what size to get for like a month <laughs> And I didn't make like a return for like a month because I just couldn't decide. It's like the size 5 fits tighter around like this part. So I know that the slide isn't going to like fall off. Yeah, it's kind of like on edge of being too small versus the size 6. Fits like the back of my heel perfectly, but this part is a little bit looser. So it's like what part do i want to compromise on so anyways with these ones i ended up going with a size six so that they could fit like my heel better and this part is like a little bit loose on me but that's okay and then for my last two pairs of slides they're exactly the same just in different colors I love these so 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 much you guys know I love like my Birkenstocks anyways but this like style really caught my eye and I feel like they look a lot more slimming on the foot than like the traditional Birkenstocks at least that's like my opinion so I knew I was gonna love them so much that I got them in two colors so I got them in the, just like this normal taupe sort of color and then also in black as well i got these in my normal size which is a 36 it says i love birkenstocks they're just like my go-to sandal over the summertime i have like four pairs currently and so yeah i just really like like this new style i thought it was really fun this part is like completely suede and it's like floppy which is kind of cool and then this part is a little bit more structured and it's fully adjustable it has like velcro both parts like this part right here and then this part too so you can completely adjust it to your foot they're really comfortable on i was reading reviews on these i think like last night just because i was i don't know i was just looking at them again and i was curious and some people were saying that they were like uncomfortable and i'm like what pair did you get because these are so freaking comfortable and that is everything you guys that's all of my shoes my latest shoes i have a shoe obsession i will have links for each of them down in the description as i always do in case you guys wanted to shop them or look at them or anything like that i am so excited for the spring and summertime i'm just like itching for all of like the nice weather and today is gonna be like super sunny which is making me like really really excited for the spring and summertime oh and actually while we're talking about shoes this just popped into my mind and i while i was rowing i had it in my mind i was like oh my god i need to ask you guys 
So to all my rowing friends out there, what shoes do you wear rowing? Please tell me because I've tried at least three or four different style shoes and only one so far works really well, but the other ones give me blisters on the back of my feet. So like, why is it so hard to find a good pair of just normal shoes to row with? Isn't that a little weird? I don't even know. So yeah, like an old pair of Adidas shoes that I have works the best for me because they go up a little bit higher in the back, but it's also a little bit padded in the back, so they work. But today I tried high top Converse because I thought that it would give me nice support in the back, but then I still felt it like rubbing in the back. And then like my APLs don't work because my heel like slides out of the shoe when I move forward. So you guys, like what, what is this? What is this? So if you guys have any suggestions for good shoes to wear while rowing, definitely, definitely please let me know. <laughs> oh, it's time for lunch, but you guys, it's so cold. The sun has disappeared and now it's raining even though it wasn't supposed to rain today. No. Okay, so for lunch, we are going to have a salad. We're gonna have this salad. Mm, this brings me back. This used to be something I was so obsessed with and just recently I would say in the last like week and a half I brought it back and it's been something that I've been wanting to have like every single day There's only a few stores that carry like this specific kind for some reason like they carry Taylor Farms, which is the brand But not everyone carries the everything chop kit, which is like my favorite one. It is so freaking delicious so we're gonna have this, um, and I usually only have half of it, so this one bag lasts me two days. So I have one bowl here, but then the remaining, I'm gonna put in this bowl um, and put in the refrigerator. So that way, tomorrow, it'll be really easy just to like add the dressing, shake it all up, and eat it, and then it won't stay in this bag. Like, it'll stay better longer, you know what I mean? So that's what we're having. Why I like this? I don't know why. I think it's just like the combination of like the flavors and stuff. So it says it has green leaf lettuce. It has some shredded broccoli in here. It has some red and savory cabbage, some mini bagel toast, so good. Some carrots, green onion, and everything bagel seasoning with everything seasoned ranch dressing too. Oh boy, should I even tell you guys about this? Because it's already hard enough to find. I'm not saying. I would sell it out by telling you guys but like it's pretty damn good i want to keep it all to myself <laughs> divide it between the two days so it's like i literally get both set up like i was gonna have it today but i don't so i put even the croutons on That's it. But then we'll only put dressing on the one we'll have today. And then I'm just gonna fold up this packet and put it in here um, to save because obviously we don't want soggy salad for tomorrow. Okay. Yum. Mix it all together with the dressing. <sighs> and lunch is served. That's what we're having. I'm just gonna work through lunch. I have a lot of stuff to catch up on. So that's the plan. My desk chair in my bedroom i got a new one it got a little bit of a makeover today it arrived super 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 dirty and so the compromise to start with <laughs> that so the company that sells the chair um decided or we agreed upon them just like professionally cleaning it before returning it and exchanging it for a new one so I had someone come and professionally clean the chair. And I actually think it looks a whole lot better now than it did before. It's still drying, but here it is. And of course I'll be inserting the before footage of it. But before it was like hard to tell, like it just all over looks super, super dirty. And then it had like some spots, especially like on the arms and in the back. 
a little bit and then like a handprint too in the back. Um, these little sections, they couldn't get out like a hundred percent, but I think that that's okay. And I think like overall it looks a lot better. So yeah, this is my new desk chair that I got. It's actually advertised, hi Oliver, as a dining room chair, but I wasn't finding a lot of desk chairs that I like like the aesthetic and the look of them. So I was kind of looking at dining room chairs and yeah, I actually really like this one. It's really soft and comfortable, like really cushiony and it actually fits and looks pretty good um, in the space as well. And then soon I will be sharing more updates, I guess, that I've made in the office. I want it to like be in a good state before like I do like a tour of it. And I mean, I don't even know if like a tour is really necessary. You guys have like really seen the space in detail. So let me know if you'd even be interested in that. But like, yeah, there's still things that I want to do in it that I just haven't gotten around the time to like finalize. Like picking an area rug, for instance, like, I don't know, I can't decide. And I don't necessarily love the look of like rugs on top of carpets and stuff. And that's kind of like what I'm dealing with. So it is what it is. But good news for the bedroom, like the master or the primary suite is that I will be doing a full tour on that soon. I would say like in maybe two weeks or so there's just like a few remaining things that i'm waiting on that should be coming soon so oh that's coming if you guys have been waiting for it it's on its way <laughs> i am hungry again it's after 3 30 and i want a snack but i don't know what the pantry organization is holding up pretty strong there's a few messy areas now and it's, it's not me that did it Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Maybe some peanuts. We're gonna eat some honey roasted peanuts. Because why not? And I'm sitting like this because I don't want to hold the camera up. I'm done with meetings for the day, but I definitely need to get back to work. I took a like a 30 minute break when I was like assisting the person that was cleaning my chair, but. Now that he's gone and my chair is drying, I can get back to work. But I can't really work in my office because I'm obviously missing a chair. So I'll have to move my laptop and work elsewhere. Nah, I think that's good enough. I have a huge mess here, but this is drawer organization. I want to organize some of like the kitchen drawers. So I think that will be coming in the next vlog because I want to do it over the weekend. And we have like a lot of other organization we want to do too. Like, um, I want to like, oh, there's a lot of sun right here. I want to fully like organize the garage, which I'm really excited about. So that'll be coming, I think, on the weekend. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. This came to see me. My mom's stress test came back abnormal, so she had to go for more tests. I think it's more of a four. All right, babe. So we are running out to go pick up dinner. It is dinner time already, I know. Where has this day gone? Tell me about it. So it's, yeah, it's after eight, it's 8.18. Quan made a salad for dinner and that was like the only thing he was gonna have. And I literally couldn't decide on anything. I was like, I could pick from anything and I cannot decide <laughs> what I wanna eat. But for some reason, pizza sounded really good. So we're gonna go pick up pizza from Pagliacci's. Um, and that's gonna be my dinner and it, all the leftovers Juan's gonna eat just for tomorrow And he can have some if you want some, you know what I mean? I got it half what he wants half what I want So that's what we're gonna go um, Pick up now and I was gonna mention this at the very start of the vlog, but then I completely got sidetracked And I didn't even mention it but like so sorry you guys for not even posting on Tuesday I had every single intention on posting on Tuesday and like filming over the weekend. But if you guys watched my last vlog, you knew that I went and caught the vaccine, like the booster shots, like that night, like that day on Thursday. Um, and I was not expecting to be like down for the count for a full like 40 hours. So Friday was a complete waste, Saturday was a complete waste, and then Sunday was my dad's birthday party. So I spent the majority of the day with him. So I didn't even have time to film or anything. And yeah. Kind of annoying. You ready? Ready. All right, let's go pick up the pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. We're here picking up the goods. This was a solid choice. I am starving now. It sounds so good. 
Dude, I was just passing gas stations too, by the way. Gas prices are out of control. It's the times that I'm really happy that I have a Tesla. <laughs> Back home with the pizza, but I've decided I really would like a cocktail. Are you gonna have one? Um, I mean, you can make me one. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure I will. <laughs> All right, so in my last vlog, I went into detail about how I make my favorite go-to margaritas. So I'll make sure I'm linking that video if you guys wanted to check it out. I'm just going to quickly whip this up for the both of us so that I could eat the pizza while it's still really nice and warm. But pretty much my margarita just consists of three ingredients and that's it. Limes, very important. We always do agave as well. And then your choice of tequila. Today I'm going to do a blanco instead of like a reposado and stuff. So let's get to making. And here is the pizza that we got from Pagliacci's. I got my favorite, which is just like the margarita pizza. And then he got a fresh veggie. And I see some veggies on my side. <laughs> no, but this is actually like one of the best pizzas. It's so good. Here you go, babe. Thank you. Cheers. How is it? Delicious. I make a mean margarita, don't I? <laughs> it's pretty good. Mmm. I put a little bit of extra tequila in it. Alright, I'm so excited for the pizza. Babe, you're gonna mess out. Maybe not. He just has his little salad. His little salad. What are we gonna watch, babe? Are we gonna start season two of Ozark? You guys, we finished season one last night, which was so exciting. It is so good. It definitely started out slow, but I feel like my mind has changed on it. What are your thoughts on the show? Season one ended with like a huge like, oh, excuse me? I wasn't expecting that. No, it's good. Let's see what happens. Okay. He's a man of a uh, few words. You know, <laughs> on camera. <laughs> That's all we get out of him. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and start this. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here. Just gonna eat some dinner, watch Ozark, have my drink, and relax with my little babe. <laughs> Bye guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. I have tons of fun videos planned that I'm really excited about. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I'll see you in a couple of days at my next video. Bye guys. Love you so much. Mm -hmm.